Welcome to another exciting episode of The Million Dollar Peddlers. I'm Paper Guy. And I'm Mr. Magazine. Mr. Magazine, you are familiar, I assume, with the theory of a five... Relativity? No, I'm not. <laughs> five-year plan. Okay. You've heard of that before? Sure. People set up five-year plans? Yep. So I read something a little bit interesting the other day. <clears throat> okay. Five-year plans are out the window. Hmm. Um, boomers and Generation Z, which is Random Neighborhood Kid are now doing 12-year plans. 5 to 12, that's odd. <laughs> that's a big jump. It is a big jump. Um, Why not 5 to 10? Why 12? I don't know. I don't know either. It's just an odd number. So. Okay, boomer. Um, <laughs> so I guess first off, what is your 5-year plan? And second off, to keep with the times because we're hip and cool, um, what is your 12-year plan? Well, my five-year plan... How old will you be then if you don't mind? I'll be 55 years old. Okay. My five-year plan would... Well, it's kind of changed. I okay. Wanted, I originally wanted to grow my business and sell, you know, a few years ago at 60 years old. Okay. And then either retire or semi-retire and still have my, my laundromat, maybe my card shop. Okay. Something, one simple location to keep it simple, kind of like a hobby, part-time job, or whatever. Um, and then, you know, getting into this warehouse with all the stress, you know, the work involved... Um, I kind of wanted to like sell that out, the, you know, the internet inventory, you know, the whole store, the company name and everything, um, you know, you know, before 60 or around 60, but now I'm talking to all my buddies and you as well. You're my buddy as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. And you're retiring in when? Oh, I, 27 weeks, two days. Thanks for asking. All right. That's a little too soon for me to retire, but <laughs> my buddies are going to be 55 and 57, you know, and they're teachers or cops and so forth. And they're going to be retiring at that point. You know, and then you don't really, no one really retires then. You know, they'll probably have little gigs, you know. Yeah, right, some side gig or something. Yeah, bouncer or, you know, whatever. Um, But, uh, you know, I'm thinking like, geez, I'm going to be, I don't want to still be working this hard when my buddies, everyone's having fun and, you know, retired, semi-retired, you know, you know, scaling back when I may have to work even harder. Who knows? You know, who knows if eBay's over and done with and I got to move product to another venue or something and work, you know. 20 hours a, a day, you know, I don't want to be doing that. So um, I'd like to, my five-year plan right now is to try and get, build my company up, get a set value to it, and then maybe sell it if possible, you know, as far as the, the whole internet and the warehouse company. So where would that put you at in 12 years? Uh, so another thing going on is that building, if I end up buying that building, that may change things because it might be harder to get out in five years. So that's something I have to think about, but, you know, a second, another location with more storage. Do I really want to tackle that on and see what the, you know, monthly costs are? So I'm going to entertain that first of the year. We can look that over. Um, but as far as a 12 year plan, I definitely don't want to be working much at all at that point and maybe just have the laundromat or sell out completely and retire completely. Hmm. Interesting. If I can. Right. How about you? Oh, I never thought you'd ask. Of course. <laughs> it would be really boring if we just sat here quiet for the next 30 minutes going, oh, um, yeah, I'm waiting for him to ask. <laughs> well, five years would put me, I'm at 54 and change right now. We'll, we'll just say I'll, I'll be 60, well, just to make the math easy. So I would be 60 essentially in five years. Um, I guess after I retire, obviously there's going to be a bit of a change. Uh, I've got more hours available to me. And I've got some ideas for the channel, uh, for things that I want to do. One, one big thing that I want to do is I want to hit the collectibles room. And I want to show uh, you guys videos of the various things that I've accumulated throughout the years. Now, obviously, I don't want to be 75 years old and still collecting stuff. Not that I don't want to do it. That's not fair to Mrs. Papergoy. Mm -hmm. Um you don't want to burden your loved ones with your collection because they don't understand it. Especially not, so extensive. It's yes. not like you just have, oh, I got a thousand stamps I want to sell or a thousand points. We have tens of thousands of items if you include comics and sports cards and so forth. You know, and, and they wouldn't know where to start. And it would be one thing if I were specialized. It would be one thing that if I said, I'm working on a graded T206 set when I pass... Mm -hmm. You know, call Heritage or call so and so, right. call Mister Magazine or what you know, whatever way to get rid of it. It's one thing. No, I've got so many different venues that I've collected, mm -hmm. and so many different things that I've collected that it, it, it's overwhelming to me, right. and I'm the one that's accumulated it. 
And again, yeah. if, if all I were was saying, hey, I want to build the highest grade Sergeant Ra- Army at War Sergeant Rock set around, mm-hmm. all right, that's easy enough to understand. It's easy enough to sell. Sure. Yeah, if you get down to it, you know, you call Heritage, you call somebody like that, and you say, hey, here's what we have. Right. You know, right. let them auction it off. Um, not that they wouldn't take a lot of the stuff that I have, but Mrs. Paper Coy has no understanding, no interest. I mean, she doesn't know Wolverine or uh, Hulk 181 from Hulk 191. I mean, it sure. makes no difference to her whatsoever as far as that goes. Yeah. Um, so I've got to figure out how to unwind the collection over the next few years. Uh, so that would definitely put me out at five years where certainly things are sorted. Mm-hmm. And maybe if I'm still collecting, that's fine. But A, get rid of the doubles. And B, try to get things a little more streamlined where I don't have... Because, because the situation that it is now, if I go out and I see something cool... I buy it mm-hmm. and I throw it in the collection. It's just like me; I just stockpile. Yeah, and it 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 has no meaning within the overall collection. All right. Um, so maybe focus a little more. Maybe that's the right word to mm-hmm. use. Maybe focus a little more. That would put me out five years unwinding the collection. Um, twelve years out with the twelve year plan, that would put me up at we'll say sixty seven, which actually is right when I can start collecting Social Security if I want to collect um, you know my full benefit. I would be at 67. Yeah. So it, that would be kind of a nice time to be unwinding down into oh. and then figuring out what I need to do. Now, obviously, we don't know what venues are around at that point and what's yeah. going on at that point. But maybe at that point have things maintained where you've got X number of items on eBay, X number of items on Amazon, and then take a whatnot or whatever the whatnot of the future is in have that be because I do enjoy going to sales. Mm-hmm. Have that be where hey, I go to a sale, I pick up twenty five items, and I go and I throw an auction up, and I right. hopefully at that point I have enough of a following that I sell all twenty five items more than I pay. Sure. You know, do that two three times a week, pick up a couple hundred bucks just to stay busy, um, and meanwhile just kind of have your your eBay and Amazon stuff slowly sell down. Right. Um, because when you get down to it, between eBay and Amazon, I've got forty thousand plus items. I don't know what they're listed at. They're probably listed at close to a million dollars, probably, between them all. Yeah. I'm certainly not going to get anything close to a million dollars for them because I'd be wholesaling them out. You know, if I get 10 cents on a dollar, you're talking, you know, 100 grand, which is a lot of money Mm -hmm. to, to, uh, you know, unload them all for one time there. But the other side is how much time and effort have I put into listing them, et cetera. Sure. Am I better off just selling them down and slowly building, you know, Hey, I, w- I sold enough stuff last month that this box is kind of half empty. Let me consolidate. Let me consolidate. Let me have eBay and Amazon stop taking so much of the house up. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's kind of the question as well. Sure. Um, certainly, as I get up into my 60s, I don't see expanding. Um, right. Yeah. I agree. You know, because, again, there's only so many hours in the day. And then I guess the other question would come in. Um, I'll have worked 34 years. Mm-hmm. I'll have a pension. Um, I've got 401k. I will have at that point Social Security, et cetera, mm-hmm. et cetera. Um, what exactly would I be working for? I've done I've done years and years and years of 90 to 100 hour weeks. Mm-hmm. Do I want to be doing that at 70? No. <laughs> no. Let me ask you this: Would you ever be one of those guys with all your um, collectibles and so forth, ephemera, to do shows like, like flea markets and stuff? Like, no. Is a hobby job? Is like nope. Because a lot of people end up doing it is you know they're retired, they go on the weekends, they set up, they don't care if they make fifty bucks, five hundred bucks. It's just something to do. You talk to people and. You know. Well, the biggest problem I have with that, um, and I know comic, I, I know comic and card shows are different because when you go to those, you're buying a table. Mm-hmm. Um, most of the things I go to the fleas and all that, you're not buying a table. You're buying a space, mm-hmm. and thus you've got to bring your own tables. Well, the situation is. With the vehicle that I have, I've got, if I if I only want to make one trip, I've got two options. I can bring my merchandise, or I can bring my tables. <laughs> so I can I'm bring all my sure merchandise. I'm when you're retired, you can afford a bigger vehicle, a little bigger vehicle, <laughs> if you needed to. You'd so, make it work. So I'm going to bring all my tables, set them up, and they're like, got nothing to put on these, but look at these pretty tables. Business cards, <laughs> pens. Paper boy pens. <laughs> Um, no, but that's a lot of hard work. Uh, I, it certainly yeah, it has is. to be in you, and it's not in me. And yeah, I, I would not enjoy that. 
no, and I've seen the people do it, and I've got nothing but mad respect for people that set up at the various venues. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, too, that you didn't ask me about um, would be what I ever think of doing antique malls and that kind of thing. I've tried them a couple of different times. I'm not good at them. Yeah. I'm just not good at them. You have I, to keep up with that stuff. You absolutely do, and I never find the time to go over and put the stuff in. And mm -hmm. what I end up doing is I stay in it for a year. I pay whatever. Mm. $840 for my booth rental and I sell $900 worth of the stuff so after everything I made $60 for a year's worth of work and I got rid of all my stuff really not mm, worth no. it for me sounds um, like what not hey now <laughs> um, so kind of wonder if you uh, could share with us your 5 year and 12 year plan because that's what the Generation Z and Boomers are have teamed up and decided to do a 12 year plan and I don't understand that team up or the 12 years but that's what they're doing so hopefully uh, get you thinking a little bit about it because, again, you, you need to kind of focus. You need to think ahead. Um, we, we can't always know what venues are going to be good or any of that sort of thing. Um, certainly 12 years ago, if we'd asked this question, well, WhatNot wasn't even around back then, we would have certainly probably said, oh, yeah, we're going to be focusing on eBay, building eBay mm -hmm. up huge. Thank goodness we didn't. I mean, we did yeah. we did it somewhat, but thank right. goodness we didn't put all of our eggs in that yeah. basket yeah. because it's not hitting hitting the wall when they got rid of the adult category. So it's a shadow of its former self, unfortunately. Hopefully, it does turn around though, because again, it's a site we all love. Yeah. But um, hit the like button if you could, and we will see you next video. Take care. Bye bye.